happened to notice the steering wheel had a little bit of play in it, and I was just trying to figure that out. And, and uh, I looked under here and noticed that this little section here did not have the little reluctor wheel and spring. And my friend had told me that this is actually for the traction control, and it has the position of the steering wheel when you're you know, losing control or whatever. It's supposed to help apply brakes. So he was saying that that's probably what that is. And I noticed this car didn't have it and I didn't remember it falling out when I changed steering shafts. But I did have to change the steering shaft out of this car because the previous owner had cut it to get the engine out. The car had headers on it when they took the engine out and sold it. And so I thought, well, there's a possibility that it fell out. So I uh, went ahead and got these parts. They're out of my Sonic Blue GT. And I went ahead and replaced them and put them back in the way they're supposed to be. And I just thought it'd be a good idea to go ahead and put this all there. And being that there's a spring that presses against that reluctor wheel, I thought, well, maybe that'll give a little more tension on the steering wheel and take some of the play away. But uh, I think it helped a little bit, but there still is a, t a little bit of play there. So probably the lower bushing where it goes into the rack in pinion. So... Anyway, just fiddled with this for a little bit. You can see, got it on there right and um, replaced this just to be safe. Now, it's a possibility that this car never had one of these in here if this really is like a traction control thing and that the, the car was born without it. It's possible, but the car did have the ABS uh, module on it and... The ABS light is on right now, which is common on 9904 Mustangs. Those ABS, well, even probably sooner than that too, probably the 96 to 04s or whatever. But the ABS lights are always on. Their, their um, modules go out pretty easily. And uh, this one, the light's on. So I would assume that means the car does have the ABS. And I assume if it has ABS, it would have traction control. Maybe not. It's possible it didn't. But regardless, I decided to go ahead and install this. And that way, everything would be uh, as good as I could get it for the alignment that I'm going to get it, the alignment done on. So I just wanted to try to do everything possible to eliminate any issues. And you know, maybe later I'll get a steering shaft for it, a different one out of a wrecking yard. The one that's in it now is out of my Sonic Blue parts car. And I know that car had like 176,000 miles or something on it when it was totaled. And uh, I bought it totaled and I've used the parts off of it. The interiors and the silver GT and a lot of parts are on this car. So um, anyway, it seemed like it helped a lot, but I mean a little bit. And, yeah, anyway, so... Went ahead and got the car ready to go up to the alignment and had some fun running some errands and just enjoying the car out and about and driving around and having fun with the car. It's so nice to have this car back out in public, back out in society. This car was ready for the crusher and now it's back here, you know, in good hands and it's being enjoyed and driven and nobody walking past the car would ever suspect how bad this car was when I got it and that this car was wrecked pretty bad. I just enjoyed that as I hung out in the parking garage and thought back to what this car used to look like and how far it's come and where it is now, and it's finally time to get the alignment done. So I went up to the university where my friend works, and he offered to have the students work on it, and they did the alignment on my silver GT as well. And I was happy to take it out there. It's always fun to go visit and Somebody asked if this was uh, the previous owner's car, they'd recognize it. I said, yeah, it was, but it's mine now, and it's in good hands, and I'm taking good care of it. And uh, I put it back together, because it was parted out and left for dead. But anyway, got it on the alignment rack, and the students were kind of nowhere to be found, so my friend was starting to do it, and I said, hey, I'll jump under there and help if I can. I didn't know what I was allowed to do or not, but... I went under and helped and worked on it a little bit. So it was fun. I was happy to do it. There's a Corvette over there. <laughs> but yeah, just... Uh Oh, the good funnel days of auto shop i love it <laughs> so i put the thing on the steering wheel and uh, that was kind of difficult because it does have that little bit of play in it so it could go each way and my friend uh, got the alignment in pretty good everything was in spec he said it really wasn't that bad 
Uh, but, you know, getting that steering wheel straight was difficult because it had a little bit of play and then he'd have me turn it on just to get the uh, power steering lined up a little bit. And then, you know, no matter what you do, uh, you're always going to have a little bit of an issue. But I got it mostly straight. I mean, compared to what it looked like before, you can see this is how bad it used to be. And so going from there back to the alignment now looks pretty good. I'm pretty happy with it. It's pretty straight and uh, it's nice. It goes down the road. I know I'm not going to be destroying tires or anything. So that's the update for now. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoy the series and stay tuned for more Mustang content.